One of Xbox's big upcoming games is Redfall, which was going to be published by Bethesda. It is being published by Bethesda, but Bethesda now being a subsidiary of Microsoft after that huge acquisition. It is essentially a Microsoft Xbox published game. It is being developed by Arcane Studios and it is essentially Left 4 Dead meets Vampires with some like hero shooter elements. I'll have to get my hands on it to really gauge how I feel about it. The gameplay footage that I've seen so far hasn't really captivated me, but maybe it's one of those games that I have to like actually play before I can really make a final judgment. Now, this is a game that gave us a bit of a scare when on February 17th, 2023, it was reported that the physical version of Redfall would not include a disc, which defeats the whole purpose of a physical edition. The headline here reads, it looks like Redfall's physical version includes a download code instead of a disc, at which point you might as well not release a physical version in the first place because it's just a waste of plastic. And at that point, you might as well just get it digitally because that's essentially what a download code is. Fortunately, it would seem as though this was just an error that came about from an FAQ page where they put the wrong information in there. Update, it reads right here, Bethesda updates FAQ page and claims it was unclear. Bethesda actually tweeted about this saying, there was unclear Redfall information shared on a Bethesda customer support FAQ regarding Redfall. It has since been corrected. The physical retail version of the Redfall Xbox Standard Edition does come with a Blu-ray disc. So there is a purpose to the physical edition of Redfall. The Byte Back upgrade can be purchased separately. Within the Byte Back upgrade, you will find a code that grants you the Byte Back upgrade in-game items. So you are actually getting a physical disc, which is good, but there is one little problem. One of the reasons you want to get a physical version of the game is for potential game preservation, but that's an aspect that stands to be compromised because Redfall is a game that requires a persistent internet connection, and I'm not talking about its online multiplayer mode, which obviously would require online given it's an online mode. I'm talking about the single player experience as well. It will require you to stay connected to the internet, which is just an awful trend. In this FAQ page, if you scroll down, you'll find a segment that reads, will playing Redfall require an online connection for single player as well as co-op? And the response reads, a persistent online connection is required for single player and co-op. Look, co-op obviously makes sense. It's an online multiplayer mode, but the single player component is its own segmented thing that's not gonna negatively impact other players. So what the hell is the point of locking the single player mode behind online connectivity? My guess is that it has something to do with anti-piracy measures, but by implementing such features, you're actually just incentivizing people to pirate. I guarantee you somebody's gonna be able to find a way around this online requirement for the single player component. And so players will just get that version because it's a version that'll actually be preserved even when Redfall servers go down. Plenty of news outlets have reported on this already. Here is Video Games Chronicle with an article whose headline reads, Redfall will require an online connection even in single player, Bethesda confirms. And it is all further detailed down here. The requirement was confirmed in the game's newly published official FAQ. It discusses how many modern games include DRM, which requires a one-off online check to prevent piracy, but a persistent online requirement that's something that remains relatively uncommon for modern games with single player modes, even in titles that are primarily co-op focused but have single player elements. Not to say that Redfall is the first game that's doing this, but the vast majority of game developers who release a single player campaign alongside an online multiplayer mode realize that there is no reason to lock the single player behind an online requirement. There are plenty of situations where you might lose internet connectivity, and at that point, until the internet connection comes back, you might want to spend your time playing a single player game that shouldn't require any kind of online access. And with portable consoles and portable handheld PCs becoming more commonplace, the ability to take those games with you and play those titles without an online connectivity, which isn't always available when you're moving around, like that's a great benefit to have. It's the whole point of buying a game and downloading it to your system so you have access to it at any time during any situation internet or no. When I go on a flight, for example, many airlines make you pay for Wi-Fi 
And for those who don't want to do that and just want to enjoy their flight playing games, like you should be able to do that if you are playing a single player mode that has no impact on other players' gameplay experience. Recently, I went on this trip with a couple of friends to a place in the desert where the housing just really did not have great internet at all. The Wi-Fi just wasn't working. The connectivity was just shoddy. It might work for like a one-time DRM check or something, but when it comes to persistent online connectivity, that was just something that was not viable in that environment and I had my portable PC gaming handheld with me but I was able to play those games that are single player and don't require online connectivity a game like Redfall if I want to take that on the go and go in a similar environment guess what I'm screwed I won't be able to play that game because a persistent online connectivity just wasn't possible in that environment there are just times when internet is not available in a stable way and Redfall just completely compromises players' ability to play that game and enjoy it in that kind of environment when engaging with single player. And I ask again, what's the reasoning behind this? If it's piracy, you're doing more harm to your game than good. People are, again, going to want to pirate your game more because they'll want a version that's, you know, cracked. One that will actually work in those situations and circumstances where you might lose internet connectivity or where internet connection might not be stable. Like, if that's the only reason they're doing this, it's it's a dumb reason. And it's nowhere near worth what you lose from the persistent online connection requirement for a single player mode. This is baffling in an era where plenty of online co-op games that also have just a single player component that you can play solo all make sure that only the online multiplayer stuff is locked behind a persistent online requirement, which makes sense, but the single player mode isn't. So co-op titles like Gotham Knights, Monster Hunter Rise, and Marvel's Avengers all allow for offline play in single player mode. Even It Takes Two in its co-op mode has local couch co-op, which is how I played this game, and it was wonderful. Now, there is hope in that Redfall could probably release an update at one point where the persistent online requirement can be disabled, like Back for Blood did. When it launched back in 2021, it required an online connection, even when playing solo with AI teammates, which again made absolutely no sense, but a later update removed this requirement, which is absolutely the right move, allowing players to play through the story offline. The fact that they were able to just turn off that switch shows that you really don't need that persistent online connectivity for single player or campaign modes or just the solo modes. It's clear that this serves no other function other than to try to appease this misguided notion that this will somehow help prevent piracy, which just isn't the case. I feel like this is just going to encourage piracy more because you're giving people a worse version of the game than what pirates can achieve. What's that quote Gabe Newell gave about how piracy is a service problem? If you give people a version of a product that's just going to be better than what pirates can come up with because the service is just really good, it's more convenient, and it's something people would happily pay for, then people will actually pay for the thing. And the irony to all of this is, as Video Games Chronicle points out here, Xbox has historically promoted the importance of game preservation. This is what Xbox tweeted when Nintendo and Sony were embroiled in game preservation controversies because Nintendo pulled some online-only games and Sony were closing down various storefronts from older consoles that would mean certain digital-only games would disappear forever. Xbox tweeted, as time goes on, it becomes more important than ever that we ensure gaming icons and classics are preserved for new and old players alike. Whether your first time playing Morrowind is from 2002 or your Xbox or 2021 on your phone, we're excited to share these experiences with you. I agree with that, which is why Redfall should not have a persistent online requirement for single player, because if that ends up being the case for the entire lifespan of this title, then that means that when servers one day, years in the future, do inevitably go offline, the single player mode itself also won't be accessible. So hopefully this is a game that will pull a back for blood and release an update where that silly single player persistent online connectivity is completely disabled because unless a developer can provide a genuinely good reason for why this has to be the case for Redfall specifically, and I feel like there is no actual good reason, this is plain and simply unacceptable and any game that does this henceforth from here on out or that has done this in the past, all of that is equally unacceptable. There are more drawbacks and benefits to this and uh, this is something that I hope Redfall reconsiders. All this even defeats the purpose of a physical edition of a game because even if you have the disc and insert it into your console and install it years down the line after servers have gone down, even if you're able to install the game, guess what? The single player will say, hey, 
We see that you're not connected to the internet because servers are down. Part of why you want to get a physical edition is for the longevity of being able to retain a game in your library and not have that be lost by store closures, which is what happened when Nintendo and PlayStation closed down some of the stores for older consoles. There are some games that were lost forever or would have been had it not been for emulation. So I urge Xbox or the development team at Arcane Studios to reverse this because otherwise in the long-term future, the best way to play the game will be to download a pirated copy that's cracked and that has had its online requirement removed and circumvented. The pirate version will actually be more viable for the long term. So maybe be better than that. Well, at the very least, that's one man's take. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on the topic of persistent online requirements for single player games and what your general thoughts are on Redfall, both as a game, but also what it's doing with this persistent online requirement and whether you think it'll be detrimental to the game in the short or long term. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.